Today we are going to create a planet. Hello my friends and let's get started. So this is our end result and this is our starting point where you want to download a really high resolution texture of rust or moss like dry moss something with a nice texture so you can see this has a resolution of 6000 by 4000 so pretty big and you want to take a circular selection so hold your control and shift key and then click and drag so it makes a circle selection there we go and you can move the selection afterwards with your mouse you can see right here I have some writing on the metal in the background so we don't want to have this inside the planet we need to find a nice position where it's all clear but we still have this nice rust textures so the next thing we're going to do is go to filters distort and spherical and this is the reason why we need a, a higher resolution is because if we don't have that it's getting pretty pixelated in the middle and for some reason you can see here the radius is just going to 1240 but our resolution is higher but you can enter here by hand I will try 2000 and you can see here you can still move around this kind of circle in the middle and you can see if it hits the edges or if it's too big so this is a little bit of a Gasper work for some reason I don't know why they decided to do it like that uh, let's move it around a little bit so this seems to fit pretty nicely and you can hit with 100% apply and then you can do the same thing again repeat sphere just apply the filter again you can see now you see the reason why we need a higher resolution is because now the middle is getting somewhat pixelated but the corners are still having a lot of detail are very sharp and they are very bended at the moment so now you would copy this selection over to another file I have already done this over here so we save the time I will close this file to save some RAM because it's or RAM because it's pretty big and here is our planet texture I will hide the other layer so this is what we have right now the next thing is we're going to take our rectangle tool and make a dark background so pull this the rectangle over all of the background and then select black as the fill color there we go and we will push this to the back so we will call this layer space there we go and the next thing we're going to do is select our base planet layer and make an adjustment layer for black and white pull this down onto the basement layer and you can use these to adjust the details on your planet you can see now that it's black and white it already looks a lot more like a planet or a moon so this gives us a very nice way to select the contrast and the details on the planet I will leave it like this and then the next part we want to do is create an atmosphere so to do this hold control and click the layer to make a selection in the size of the layer and then we're going to create a new pixel layer and where's our pic oh there it is okay there's our pixel layer I will call it atmo for atmosphere and we're going to fill it with black color so you can take your fill tool or your brush tool I mostly like to use the brush tool for that let's set the hardness to 100 and just paint it black there we go and you want to set this to soft light there we go you can deselect now control D and now we have to do some adjustments so go over to the effects with the layer selected of course go over to the effects and we want to do sh outer shadow inner shadow no sorry we want to do um, the outer glow the inner glow and the inner shadow and all of these have to be set to a blue a nice blue color you can change that later on so I will set the color first like it's should be kind of a bright color but maybe not too bright there we go this one down here too for our inner glow and now we have to 
adjust the settings basically. So I will set the opacity to 100% here and make a bigger radius for our inner shadow and also push the offset over. So you can see that we get some blue color here. Let's adjust this a little bit. And one thing we need to do is go on here and set this not to multiply, but to screen. And we have to do this for all the other layers too. So let's maybe do that first. This is already at screen, the glow, and this glow is also already on screen. So this is good. Now um, let's go to the outer glow, set the radius also. And you can see we get some very nice atmosphere like glow. We can still adjust the color. So we find something that's more fitting. <coughs> sorry and the inner glow is important let's set the radius here and we want something that goes pretty deep into the planet again here it's limited to 100 but you can enter it by hand so let's set it to 200 there we go so it's getting really deep into the planet again of course we can adjust our colors so it's something that feels right to us Let's see. Oh, this was the this was the wrong one. There we go. Let's go with the inner shadow. Let's see what kind of color feels like. Uh, feels good. I more go I go more by the eye, looking at it. What feels nice? What looks nice? Okay. Um, I will go with the inner glow and make it even bigger. Let's try three hundred. So we have a really big disk let's go even 400 there we go we can still reduce it later on that's not a problem let's go back now to our atmosphere and um, basically I need another layer so I'm going to duplicate this because I need another black layer I will disable all the effects that we just created on the second layer so it's just a black disk I will set this to normal from the light and this will be our planet shadow. So now I'm going to adjust the Gaussian blur with the layer effects. So let's make this pretty blurred like this. And this will enable us to decide a way from which the light comes, from where the sun comes. I will, um, with control, hold control, click and pull to make this layer bigger and then Let's go of control and move it off to the side. You can see this creates a really nice um, shadow. One thing I like to do here, uh, a lot of people go with a round shadow. I like to have a more of a little bit elliptical so we can push this up here a little bit. We can rotate it a little bit. I think this looks more natural. And of course you can move it um, wherever you want. Of course, now that it's elliptical, if you want to move it to another side, you have to rotate it a little bit to adjust for that. So we can go like this. And this already looks pretty good, but you can see that we don't have a line down here. Maybe we want one. So let's again go to the atmosphere layer, duplicate it, and put this on top of the shadow layer and then just reduce the opacity and of course we're going to turn off on this one the inner shadow and the inner glow so just the outer glow is left over and we can reduce it even more so we have just a little bit of glow on the other side of the atmosphere there we go and this is basically we are almost done one thing we want to do now is to create some kind of clouds and vegetation vegetation let's let's uh, rename these um, layers shadow is the other one the other on top is atmo back for the back side of the planet so we're not getting lost in all our layers and now we are going to take our base layer or base planet layer and going to duplicate that and I'm going to apply to it another adjustment layer that's called levels. There we go. Just pull it down onto the base layer, set the base layer, or let's call this clouds, so we know what's going on. Clouds, and we will set that to screen. It's important screen, so it's getting very bright. 
and now we use our black and white lever to get a really high contrast and colors that are really sticking out but at the right position so they are not too overwhelming there we go let's see hmm let's try this Go a little darker maybe there we go you can see it's just a little bit we can even turn off the base planet so we see what is going on and this looks pretty okay and now when we select our clouds layer we can go over to effects gaussian blur and blurred a little bit you can see it reduces a lot of the detail and we are left over with something that looks pretty much like cloud so there's a pretty nice way to do that let's reactivate the base layer and it's pretty okay it looks pretty nice what a uh, one thing we can do so we don't have the same structure in the clouds and in the details below is to go to arrange and rotate it 90 percent and now you can see it's better because they are not having the same details now we are going to do a, the another copy of our base planet layer duplicate this and we are going to rotate it 90 percent counterclockwise so the other direction and we are going to apply um, adjustment layer for hsl so we can adjust the color of what we are having in our picture and we will turn off or delete our black and white layer on this one because we want to have color you can see you're instantly getting some very nice colors in your planet but of course now you can move around and get some different adjustments for the kind of colors you want to have in your planet and of course give this some more or less color and brightness don't go too crazy with the colors it's kind of easy to go off the rails here just find something that looks natural and interesting or is something that you want to have as a planet there we go there we have some kind of bluish water-like planet so that's pretty nice and you can see you can really create a lot of different kinds of planets with this and you can also play around with the blend mode of that I think um, let's go to the layer plant mode set this to overlay there we go adjust the colors again and you can see this enables us to create some really interesting planets um, a lot of different kind of colors and concepts basically if you think that the shadow is too extreme or in the wrong position of course you can still move it around you can see here we have some nice details you can move it around you can even reduce it a little bit so a little bit more of the planet is showing in the shadow if you want to so there you go as this is how you create a planet that's looking pretty realistic in affinity photo and it's a very nice effect you can even do multiple planets and put them on top of each other if you want to so i will stop my tutorial here thank you for watching i hope it was interesting for you if you like my videos consider subscribing and if you want to support me even more head over to patreon where you can as a patron download uh, my files with all the layers post your own stuff to get feedback from me and even chat with me about problems you have or topics you want to see in my videos Thank you very much and see you in the next episode. Bye.